All right, so we're learning about logarithms, we're learning about log form and exponent form and how we can convert between the two. Um, here's the thing, you guys, is knowing about logarithms gives you something to put in your toolbox in terms of solving equations. If your exponent, I'm sorry, if your variable that you have to solve for is in an exponent, you had no way to solve that before. You didn't have the skill set. You hadn't learned enough to solve this type of an equation. So logarithms is a tool we can use to solve equations where your variable is in the exponent position. It's actually very helpful. Um, it's not something you see till algebra two because it is a higher level, um, higher level idea here. So, congrats, guys. We're doing it right. This is cool. So. What is the solution to each equation round to the nearest thousandth? So this is exponent form, right? I don't see the word log written out anywhere. So we can write this in logarithmic form, which will help us solve the equation. So here's the exponent part. This is 10 here. Yeah, why don't we identify that? That might make this a little easier. So this 10 is the base. This x minus 1 is the exponent, and this 25 is the result. So when we put this into log form, it's log, we need the base, 10, of the result, 25, and it equals the exponent, x minus 1. And if I think, like, I think log form, to go back into this, 10 to the x minus 1 power equals 25. Yeah, that's the equation we were working with. Well, remember, log base 10 is a common logarithm, so we don't even have to write that. So log of 25 is equal to x minus 1. Well, let's solve the equation. We'll add 1 to both sides. So we have 1 plus log of 25. Log of 25, um, especially base 10, that has a value. We're going to get that from our calculator. That's equal to x. So if you were to type in 1 plus log of 25, you're going to x, get x is about equal to nearest thousandth, that's three decimal places, we get about 2.398. All right, we just solved an equation using logs. How cool is that? Okay, part B. Now this is in log form. It's a natural log form. So we're going to take it out of our log form and put it into exponent form. Now remember the natural log has a base of E. So there's our base E. Four is our exponent. And this two X plus three is the result. So there's how log form is structured. So if we put it into log form, we have our base E raised to the exponent four equals the result two X plus three. All right, well, let's solve this. We're gonna solve for X. Over on this side, how about if we subtract 3 from both sides? So we have e to the 4th minus 3 equals 2x. We'll divide both sides by 2. And if you notice over here, I had to divide the entire side by 2. So we have x alone now. x is equal to e to the 4th minus 3 all divided by 2. Well, e to the 4th... That's not a variable of e. That's like pi. It's, it's a common number. You've got it on your calculator. Let's go ahead and calculate. What is e to the fourth? e to the fourth power is 54.598. And then we're going to subtract 3 from that and divide the whole thing by 2. So remember, E is the 2.718 number, so it's just 2 point something, 2.7 something, raised to the fourth power gets us that 54. If we do all that math, we should get back a 25, um, rounded to three decimal places, so 25.799.